Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another episode where I have a drink as soon as I start casting instead of beforehand like I should have. Mm. Mm. Gotta love that natural mineral water with all of that fizz in it. It's almost like drinking real lemonade except without the sugar, and that's why I like it. So, uh, yes, what am I doing? So basically, so far, I've upgraded two of these lines. I upgraded them um, off camera because I realized if I upgrade them off camera, they'll start producing more copper. More copper means faster raw speed modules. More raw speed modules means less time until I can cast another episode because I don't want to just sit here waiting because that's just boring. So I haven't upgraded the third line. The reason I haven't waited for the third line is because we are out of gold. Our gold has fallen over. Where is it? It's over here. Um, and since a lot of those modulated crap uses gold as well, we need to fix gold. And fortunately, I've already had a look. It's a very simple fix. We're out of chlorine. And the reason we're out of chlorine is because these guys spit out both of them. And we are full of hydrogen, which is, which is obviously bad. So what we need to do here is we need to do a cool little setup and i have done these setups in the past um yeah basically with when i did a massive um bob's angels thing and i was just going in and this is the uh this is the one where i cheated my ass off as well and just spawned things in everywhere because i couldn't be bothered um actually building stuff because it would have taken me forever but what you do is you do this so you say if a uh, bottle, uh, let me see here, if, where is it, where is the bottle, if the bottled chlorine is zero, you kind of need an and here, you need an, if this is zero and this is full, which is a little bit more interesting, I've never tried an and, to be honest, and I don't know if we can do one, to be honest. We may have to play around a bit here, so. Um, you know what? Screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. All right, here's what we're going to do. I don't want to do and with any sort of decider because, I'll be honest, I don't know how to do them. So, here's what we do instead. You go like that. Screw up. Not yet. You turn, 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 turn. Um, and then what we do is we have a red thing attached to here. And then over here, we're going to do exactly the same thing with a void chest. We don't have room over there, so we're going to do it up here instead. And then we've got an inserter going like that. And the inserter goes back down to here. So you are going to move if that guy is equal to zero and you are going to move if this guy and only if this guy is equal to 250. Make it greater than or equal to 250. So then we do this and change that to chlorine and do this and change it to hydrogen. Now we go like that. And we can see that it went for a little while and then it stopped because there was a bottle in here. So this guy turns on as soon as he tops out and this guy turns off until this guy is completely empty, which means that... Interesting. Uh... I mean, some of these machines are backed up. A little bit this guy is backed up which is bad because yeah it's going through but it's not going through very fast so we need to tweak this a little bit what if we say is less than five what if we say that you are less than five that doesn't seem to be working well, you got 11 bottles in you. 
Okay, well, screw you. If you got freaking 11 bottles, then I ain't gonna worry. I'm just gonna change these back to. Uh, you know what? I don't wanna make it less than five because what's gonna happen is you might end up in some sort of wacky situation where. Well, no, you still wouldn't. You wouldn't end up in a wacky situation where they're both empty and they're both destroying stuff because then these things would never be full. But we'll set it back. We'll set it to less than five. I feel like that's fine. So if the other one is less than five, then you put one out and you leave it hanging over the abyss. Okay. So there we go. We fixed this. Now we're going to have chlorine. Now our gold should be all good. I worried for a sec that we'd actually run out of a gold mine, but of course that is that would be extremely monumental if that happened and i don't think we're anywhere close to doing that no we're not and speaking of monumental how is this power supply still going we got this one grid i was expecting to set up a whole train station or like a whole massive amount of solar panels everywhere this one grid has been doing us good i guess we haven't been going into a mega base so we hit a mega base, we start getting into the uh, gigawatts fairly quickly, but we haven't, so it's been fine. How am I think? I got 61, so that allows us to fix up the remaining copper. Although I feel like it's not so much copper or gold anymore, which is holding us back since I upgraded those two. It's more actually just not having enough machines doing the damn work, because you can see they're all... They're all pretty much running. This guy is running out of raw speed module fours, but they're all pretty much running. And what we're actually going to do here is we're going to just duplicate this whole freaking thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it double over here. We're going to make two more of them, basically. Uh, up here. And another one over there. And yeah, that's what we are going to do. Uh, what are we missing? Are we actually, we're not missing anything. They're just waiting their turn. We're all in logistics range because these guys are there. So that's beautiful. We can just walk away now and it will all be good. Um, We need to go back. We do need to do a little bit of housekeeping though because I feel like some things are definitely in dire straits. Green circuits are the big example. They were running out of gold actually which is why this was falling over so maybe they're okay now maybe i don't need to worry about them but i still worry a little bit you are okay you got a ton uh there's some things that are still worrying me like this is worrying me a bit but then again we're almost full almost full of these guys once that's full basic circuits will back up and that'll lighten the load for a lot of our base like a lot um and I did realize as well, and if any of you guys saw that and were like, Harry Muppet, you're an idiot, I did realize it, um, that even though I've got two belts of steel going directly onto the bus, I'm only feeding in two belts of iron, so it's impossible for me to get a full belt of steel coming out of this because it needs two iron. So yes, I did realize that. I thought about changing it back. And then I'm just like, screw it. I'll leave the belts as they are. I went to the effort, so I'll just leave them as they are. In the future, maybe I'll grab iron off the robotics network and do a uh, chest thing where I feed it into the other side. And then it'll be full. And maybe, maybe I'll do that. But we'll just have to see what happens. Not a lot of these guys. I feel like otherwise the base is fine. Wood is beautiful. Wood has never been stronger since we moved over to fertilizer, so that is good. So I feel like this episode, apart from all the other stuff we've done, we're going to get tungsten. We're going to set up tungsten, and we're going to get it over here. And it should be dead easy to get tungsten set up because we've already got a station here. It already has all of the things we need. We just need to switch over some things and switch over some things. I wish we could change what's there without changing the number, but we just can't, so that's kind of a pain. And green. 
So I realize we don't, we've never really filled up that chest. Oh, we fill that chest up actually a lot, that little chest. It's kind of there so that you know what's supposed to be there. If there's like, you know, so if this warehouse is empty, you can still just do a quick look and say, oh, that's what's supposed to be in there. You know, that's what we're running out of. But I've missed it on a couple of things. I just got lazy because the warehouses get filled so easily that it's kind of a... Does. There's not much point in some cases, but I feel like we should do it just to maintain. So you are going to be tungsten. And we don't have any tungsten ore, do we? Well, there'll be a bit over here. Let's do a quick double check for sanity purposes. Yes, there is a 200 here. Let's put that there. And you. All right, so we hook this up. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Hold up. Okay, almost made a huge mistake. So that needs to be 32K. That needs to be 64. I don't know what that would have done. Probably sent two trains and they probably would have ended up full anyway, but, um, or maybe sent one train because they only needed 32K and the train provides 32K. So maybe it would have been one. So that one's fine. So that one's fine. All right. Now we can safely hook it up. Two trains, please. Das safe. Oh, that's this station. You need to have a cool name, not a, uh, I don't know what that name is. Input tungsten ore. And we are not gonna need two of you, so that's fine. And we managed to squeeze it in with an extra station to spare. We might've been able to do something here, but I feel like it would've been very tight on this area. And I like to have this thing sort of left over. So what we can actually do, uh, you know what? Let's just leave it. I did have a plan at some point to curve this around and keep stations going down here. Um, but that's not gonna happen because we're just out of room. Like all these smelting arrays took up all our room, so definitely not gonna happen. Illumina, you are not looking as healthy as you could be. You don't got that much. Kind of seems like the throughput here is not as good as it could be. Like a half a belt of this stuff up here uh, what are we going to do here? Um, all right, here's a trick we, oh, no, shit, shit, shit. Bad idea, bad idea. Uh, bad idea, bad idea. Okay, so you still need to be doing that. Little dumbass. Okay, we need to clear that off. All right, you still need to be doing that. So we do this. Then what we do is do that. And then we do something funky here. Now, we need to make sure that this is on the same side. We need to make sure that this crap is on the right hand side of the belt. All right, how do we easily do that? We're gonna curve it around like this. We'll have to do that. No, that's not going to work either. What the hell is wrong with me? How am I not working this out? Okay. All right, so it has to be on the right-hand side of the belt, which means if we do it this way, the belt has to be going up. Okay. All right, I feel like I've finally got. No, that's not gonna work either. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so painful. Okay. I have to move this whole thing up a bit. Uh, so you go like that. No, you don't go like that. You go like that. And you go like that. And then we need to get rid of this to get rid of the double and just make it a single. There we go. Finally getting there. And then we need that. 
No, we still screwed it up. All right, we still screwed it up. Um, okay. And that needs to go like that. Now we can get rid of that. We can do this. And we can do that. Okay, I think we're finally done. You have some hydroxide on the way. That is excellent. Excellent news. All right. So now we got that. Goes across like that. Full belt. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And hopefully that means all of these machines should now be functioning and my phone is going full. But just telling me that I could buy a new car from uh, some place that wants me to sell a new car. Everybody wants me to sell me a new car. Just like everybody wants to sell my house and make me a ton of money. Freaking people, man. I swear to God. So, tungsten. How do you not have tungsten? Because a train with titanium ore showed up at your door. Oh my God. Why am I so stupid? How many of you guys saw that and just didn't tell me? I mean, that's just not cool. So, add main base. Titanium ore inventory. Empty. Boom. Boom. No, go here. Go there. And you, sir, I suppose you want to go to main base titanium ore inventory. Empty. Go there. Of course now you're blocked, aren't you? Alright, you can go to this one. But then you have to go to this one. All right, let's have no more of that crap. All right, and that's still an empty inventory. Excellent. All right, so that solved that uh, that fracas. So now we've got trains actually going over to tungsten, actually getting the correct stuff loaded. What? How did that happen? Supply tungsten ore. All right. Main base, inventory empty, go away, go away. I suppose you got, we must have fed into a loop where we've probably got like six trains going around all with uh, titanium ore and they all think they should go to tungsten because obviously one or two trains made the trip, got here, timed out, and then it sent another two trains off or something. So we might have a few more trains doing stupid things. You are a normal train. You are doing normal things. I like you. Okay. So, let's just try and make sure that nothing untoward happens here. We're not going to fill these up with all of these stupid trains. So that should be fine. And yes, tungsten will be coming out very, very soon. And now we get into the mess that is tungsten. Because I feel like there's a whole bunch of weird stuff going on here. So, we've got tungsten plate. And we've got copper tungsten plate. Maybe there's not that many weird things. Tungsten carbide plate. Tungsten carbide plate. Okay. So this guy needs powdered tungsten. This guy needs powdered tungsten. You need either powdered tungsten or tungsten oxide. So why the hell would I ever build tungsten oxide? I, I actually have no idea. I can't see anything weird in here that I might want to build. Tungsten oxide. Son of a... Okay, so tungsten oxide takes that, and you take tungsten oxide to produce powdered tungsten. So this is kind of a shortcut where you could build tungsten carbide plate with tungsten oxide instead of with powdered tungsten. I'm assuming these guys produce the same things. The image looks a little bit different, maybe. Maybe that's just because I'm highlighting it. Feels like this top point is a little bit different. The name is the same. I'm just going to build one. I'm just going to build this guy. I'm going to use powdered tungsten because I don't want to put tungsten oxide on the damn belt if I don't have to. So we're going to build that off in La La Land or wherever the hell we are. Ah, uh, tungsten oxide. What a pain in the ass this is going to be. Tungsten acid, which produces the cotton candy. What is that? Um, what's that cotton candy called? Uh, it's in here somewhere. Is it? Isn't it that calcium chloride shit? Isn't that it? 
So that looks like a little ball of something. And then this, yeah, that produces calcium chloride. Oh God, we're gonna we're gonna get into a situation, aren't we? We're gonna get in a situation. There we go. You look beautiful. You look like you know exactly what you're doing. So there we go. Sixty-three thousand seven hundred twenty-one. We are happy, 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 happy. Yeah, it's below sixty-four thousand, but it will only go and get some uh, more if it's uh, got a gap of thirty-two thousand. All right. So let's have a look here. Getting a bunch more of these raw speed module fires. How is this working out? There's a lot of red there. There's a lot of power problems there. That is why there is so much red there. Fix your shit up. There we go. That's fixed all those power problems. Going pretty well. I suppose you guys are running out of something. You're running out of something. What are you running out of? Ferric chloride. Probably should have realized that would run out at some point because we never had a really solid setup in the first place. Although we got full tanks and we got full provider chests. So what the hell is your problem then? What the hell is your problem? Oh, that's what your problem is. I clipped off the chest when I did the, uh, when I did the blueprint. Whoops-a-daisy. Okay, that's very, very easily fixed. So clip that. Boom. Boom. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And maybe ferric chloride will still fall over, but I don't know. These tanks are pretty full, so I feel like we'll be fine. We might want to uh, up this guy a bit. Up to there, just so we got more on stock. Uh, you got 47k you need to be that you need to be a passive provider with that stuff and do we still have over here you are a warehouse you need to be a passive provider as well because yeah 39k you could definitely be used a bit more and we're building calcium chloride here but we're not building a lot so I don't think I need that anyway. It was I was going to be building extra calcium chloride, wasn't I? When I do the tungsten through. Okay, so let's have a crack at starting this process. That's not what I want. Tungstic acid. Tungsten ore. Hydrogen chloride. I feel like we got hydrogen chloride on tap. So I'm not too worried about that. You, you get boosted up a little bit more. We're going to need more of you. Uh, produces, what is this? Is this sodium hydroxide? Does look a lot like it. Yeah, we could definitely have more of that in the system. Um, are we making sodium hydroxide just straight up somewhere? I feel like we're not. I feel like we're just making it in a whole bunch of different places and then aluminium never complained so we never bothered to make it properly somewhere. Uh, alumina never complained. Because, yeah, look at that. That's that's doing pretty good. It's being all, you all used up. Kind of getting to the end and then kind of not at some point. Oh, I think I've got a hair in my throat. I'm not sure, but I think I do. Ah, nasty. Ah. Hate having hairs in my throat. Hate having hairs in my mouth more than anything else in the world. It's just... Mm. I mean, honestly, like, maybe if I was shot, like, then I would hate being shot more than having hairs in my mouth. But since I've never been shot, I just hate having hairs in my mouth more than anything else. Um, but yeah, like, it's just so bad. It's just so bad. Such an agonizing experience. Okay, getting back on track. So we got hydrogen chloride. We got tungsten ore. Um... Uh, this is producing acid. I feel like... Okay. Producing acid. I'm not going to be piping acid down this bus. So this is a case where, yes, it is ore, but it's not something we need for science. So I'm okay 
I mean, it's not something we need for belts either. These guys just need knit and all. So, happy with doing it all over here. But we are going to do quite a big amount of this stuff, I reckon. Uh, let's see. We've got some space here. I don't know if we need to extend these at any point. Maybe we do. So, we'll try and fit it over here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent, excellent. So you are going to be tungstic acid. Mm. Now we go here and we put a little... No, hydrogen chloride is a gas, isn't it? So we need a gas, a gas thing. <clears throat> Alrighty, so then we put the pipes up and down and all around. And I want to make this setup like fairly thin, I think, um, just so that we can duplicate it and we can like just have rows and rows and rows of this stuff, which yeah, will be awesome. Cause I don't know how much we're going to need. Honestly, we probably won't need that much, but I like the idea of being able to duplicate it if I need to. So tungsten ore, let's make that a thousand. I feel like a thousand is enough. You are going to be, uh, what are you going to be? Hydrogen, empty hydrogen chloride. Put you there, you there. And you are going to give me a whole bunch of hydrogen chloride canisters. 200 to be exact. I feel like that should be enough. What are we using? 25 every two seconds. Okay, maybe we'll have a few more in here. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay. Put that guy there. Put the other guy up the top. We have a little bit of gap in between, but I feel like that's fine. Connect up to something. All right, just do it. There we go. So, now we need that, and now we need that. Oh, these legs can be a pain sometimes, can't they? Just a pain. Just a pack. Uh, I do not know if I want to make this a thing or a thing. Maybe we'll put a void chest here. And you know what? I feel like this is fine. We'll do that there. And then... Whenever something needs calcium chloride, it will not use this, it will use the stuff in storage. So that's fine. And I don't know if we're gonna build more calcium chloride than we actually need, but... Okay, so you need to be shipped in. Yeah, good. All of them are good. So if we have a look at our power. Oh, that worked out beautifully. I thought we might have to put some of them off center, but apparently not. So we're going to have to do this pipe over. You know what? We're not doing this pipe over. We're not doing that. Uh, we are going to move this guy because that's what I should have done in the first place. We're going to move all the inserters, and then we're going to do it like that. And you are shift L, and then we do copy and paste. And I missed some of them. And this guy was totally off. Totally, totally, totally off. So you're all good. Don't have to worry about belt thing although should we yeah i feel like we should i feel like just to be safe we should do this just in case it turns out that we start using a ton of this stuff uh, it's a pity that it's so hard to tell where that guy is but anyway um, so tungsten acid get on down the line so that's actually filling up decently fast so yeah maybe it's a good idea that we did that 
Uh, tungstic acid, pretty sure that's a water. I'm gonna have to put that like that, but that's just a little thing. And fill me up some tungstic acid barrels, please. Ooh, what have we got here? Two hundred and we'll do that much, and then we'll make a few of these lines, actually. Wait, what's going on? You're just waiting for barrels, are you? Yep, just waiting for barrels. And we got 204 on the way. And now we've got a lot. Turn the inserters around and suddenly it all works out. So there we go. Ton of tungstic acid batteries. And we're at the 30 minute mark. So time really does fly when you are having fun. Two. Ah, no, damn it. Damn my mouse slippage. Go away. I did not want you to be there anymore. Four. All right, so we're gonna do four lines. We got a couple, a little bit of room over there for a couple more, but I feel like four is more than enough at this point. And yes, tungstic acid should not be something that we worry about. And then next episode, we can go forth. Look at that, 340 of these guys. Okay, that is beautiful. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of the iron it takes 60 each so i feel like we can upgrade all of these guys not that we need a ton of iron everywhere but i'm not sure what else to upgrade honestly we got that still got that third copper line i oh, know i upgraded the third copper line never mind all right so that's full belts of all those guys steel has been done but as you can see they're running at half speed because of course they're only getting so much input I don't feel like anything else is really that slow. Aluminium is slow, but who cares? Or I, we do sort of care, actually. We do sort of care about this guy. Uh, how many slots? You got three, so we need 90 to fill this guy up. There we go. That's going to be a lot healthier amount of aluminium there. None of you guys are running out. Lead running out a little bit. Uh, we only got 30. I need 30 more to fill this guy up. But lead is kind of important. I mean, we only need really need one belt, but I still feel like that belt is pretty important. And if that's at half speed, then that is not good. So anyway, we're going to close it off there. And then next episode, we are going to start doing some tungsten stuff on the smelting line. It's going to be awesome. So, and actually powdered tungsten. We'll probably just get straight into that. Hydrogen, beautiful. All right, I will see you guys in just a bit. Stay tuned.